Satnam, Nicole Dardoni here with a meditation for you for seeing into the future, for kind of predicting the future or allowing yourself to kind of sense what's coming so that you can sort of arrange yourself, your life uh, for whatever situation is at hand. Uh, this meditation activates the third eye point and in Kundalini Yoga what we call the arc line. And this space is your, is your sense of intuition. It's your sense of Again, being able to sort of see what's ahead, uh, feel what's ahead, know what's to come. And it also helps you kind of project out. So it allows you a certain sense of manifestation, of allowing your intuitive stream of consciousness, this creative force that is you, uh, to be beamed out into the universe. Uh, so it's powerful stuff and it's fun. It's kind of where heaven meets earth. This third eye point is where we as human beings start to meld with the infinite, start to really get to feel this dance of finite and infinite. It's, it's really lovely. It's really, it's fun. Um, before we dive in any farther, I'd like us to tune in with uh, the um, Ong Namo Mantra. So this mantra we chant at the beginning of Kundalini Yoga to set sacred space. Ong Namo, Guru Dev Namo. It means I bow to the teacher within me. I bow to the wisdom within me. Because each of you has this third eye point. No human is born without it. So this is one of your innate human gifts, your innate human talents. And um, it's a little bit dishonorable to not let that wake up and not let it be an active, everyday part of your life. So Om Namo Guru Dev Namo, palms together, rub the hands a little bit. And then press the palms to touch thumbs to the sternum, prayer pose, close your eyes, inhale deep. Exhale. And let's inhale to tune in. Om. Suspend the breath in, focus at the third eye, and exhale, release, relax the arms down, beautiful. All right, so this meditation, as I mentioned, is going to activate the third eye point. It's going to activate your pituitary gland, which is this master gland to the body. So not only is this beautiful for your intuition, but it's going to give you kind of an overall hormonal balance. And this meditation I'm going to say up front, we're only going to practice it for three minutes together, just uh, for ease of time, but this should be done for a minimum of 15 minutes, and it is super duper duper powerful on the full moon. You can do it around any of the days of the full moon, like the day of, but even the day before, the day after, give or take a few days, it's really potent because it allows all the subconscious stuff to rise to the surface to be cleared. And it's like really allowing this unconscious, subconscious stuff to be made conscious, to be made aware, so that when you beam your intentions out into the universe, they're unmuddied, they're unmuddled, they're just this clear beam of this is what my soul desires, and, and so it is. So we're going to have, you're just going to do yogi, what is this, gyan mudra, thumb and index fingertips touch, and those are just going to face up on the knees. This is going to activate that pituitary gland, that third eye point, and it's also a really expansive mudra. So those are just on the knees. Now we're going to use a mantra, and you're going to project this mantra out from the third eye point. So the third eye point is actually between the eyebrows and back towards the center of the brain, like a couple inches. So it's actually right in the middle of the brain. So you're gonna have your eyes, or have your focus turned to that space. 
your eyes are actually going to be at the tip of your nose. So you're going to open the eyes just a little bit, like a tenth of the way open, and you're staring at the tip of the nose. But you're projecting these sounds, sa, ta, na, ma, out from the third eye point. And it's just silently, you're not chanting out loud, you're not whispering, nothing. This is just that pure beam. You're not even using any of the elements of the body. So the first five chakras are like the, the five elements. This is beyond that. So you don't need to use your voice for this. You use that power of the brow point. So sata nama, just a continual stream of energy out from that brow. Uh, one more thing, the teeth are together, right? Like just the, the tips of the front teeth. You're going to bring those together and then close the lips. And then you're going to press the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Right? It doesn't need to be hard, just enough to kind of activate those meridian points in the top of the mouth. So teeth touching, tongue to the roof of the mouth. Eyes focused at the nose, sa ta na ma, beaming out from the forehead. Sa ta na ma is a mantra that connects you to these basic building blocks of life. It brings you through the cycle of life, life, death, and rebirth. And so beaming this out into the universe allows you to connect deeply to this primal you, right? This most earth bound you, but also the most infinite you, right? This third eye point is you kind of weaving heaven and earth together. It's a dance. So like I said, we're going to practice this for three minutes, but if you can, please try it for 15 minutes. It is r really, really, really powerful stuff, All right? So sit nice and tall, hands in Gyan Mudra, eyes focused at the tip of the nose, Teeth together, tongue pressing to the roof of the mouth, satanama, out the brow.
three minutes you could do that for 15 again ideally at least 15 and you can do that for up to 31 minutes in one sitting mm. this is a really potent practice for intuition for building intuition and for manifestation um, if you would like to know more about kundalini yoga and specifically using the tools of kundalini yoga to make your everyday life happier healthier fuller, more beautiful. Uh, I have an e-course coming up on June 12th. It starts on a Sunday and it goes for eight days and it's Kundalini Yoga for Manifestation. And in it, I get to share some of my most sacred tools with all of you. Um, and it's such a gift to do so. Uh, some practices that I've been using for a very long time, some stuff with ceremony, earth-based ceremony, um, ritual, building altars, using the four directions, and then also using this incredibly potent technology of kundalini yoga. And this is, I believe, some of the biggest work that we can do right now. Weaving heaven and earth together, weaving this energy together, creating more heaven on earth, bringing more light into the earth. So if you are at all called to start manifesting in the physical world, and I do mean money, I do mean resources. I mean the things that you need to get your gifts out into the world. You know what I'm talking about. Please, I would love for you to join me because the world does need you. Satnam.